<laughs> oh, oh, and I and I hear some laughter. God, I must confess, <laughs> I am, that's, that's why he's laughing. That sounds like the Brady laugh. <laughs> it is the Brady laugh. Hey, welcome Brady Reimer live Hi. on Homegrown Radio NJ. What's up, Brady? <laughs> How are you guys doing? How are you? Great. I love talking to Brady because he's always so happy. Yes. He's happy because he's coming to New Jersey. <laughs> yes. He's, he's coming home. <laughs> That's right. He's coming home. Coming, he's coming on home. I could just go all night with all these from Good Home songs. But anyway, <laughs> you are <laughs> are you got like a double whammy on Saturday, Brady. You ready for it? I'm ready. I'm yeah. We have the uh, growing stage at 11 a.m. from Good Homes at Newton at, at uh, eight o'clock, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going. So, I'm going Friday night. So uh, you know, are, are you, oh, you going to be partying on that Friday night? You got a you got an early call that Saturday morning. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's a pro. <laughs> how, can, how can you not, uh, you know, have fun in a From Good Home show? Uh, absolutely. You know what? I want to talk about your Growing Stage show for sure, but I want to talk a little bit really quick about <laughs> the new EP for From Good Homes. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. uh, are, how do you feel about it? I mean, it's, the response has been great, right, since, since you guys released it? Yeah, yeah, the response has been great. We released uh, a three-song EP um, called uh, Time in the River EP, and so it's um, three tunes um, that will be on the Time in the River album that's going to be coming in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, and we feel great. I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was so... so um, it's just really sweet to get together last last February. We, we got together for a full week in new jersey there and uh we cleared our calendars and just and just um played music for for about for about a week and uh a lot of great new ideas came and then we were just able to find the time to finish them and uh, it's been a blast to to record them and uh and then also to you know to see this response and uh, we can't wait to play a few and <laughs> and you know what's so cool just for our listeners who might not know you guys have been friends forever since school so that's like amazing to me yeah we were we were born friends i guess you know? yeah i love it i love it um and then we want, uh ooh, go on. yeah no no seven uh, fourth grade fifth grade you know um i don't know we you know playing down in everybody's everybody's basement we go to or, or yeah. fitzy's garage or, yeah. so when you guys get it's together you know since you're you're not always uh, performing together. When you get together, is does does like that magic just come back right away? Is it you know is it the music that just kind of brings it all together? Yeah, I I think it's it, it, it you know I mean yes the, the, there is something that is very intuitive and natural and just uh, easy <laughs> about playing together um, all of us and um, and then you know and then you just. You, then you keep working at it, and you know. Then you got <laughs> you can take it further if you want. But right. but there's always been that connection, and and I guess that's why uh, we're still doing it. I love it. I love that. But you know, besides you know, from Good Homes, you know, all um all you guys have other projects going on. So you have Brady Ryan and the Little Band That Could, which is doing amazing. I mean, you've been to the White House. You've played. You know, you've been to the Grammys. <laughs> three, three Grammy nominations. I mean, I mean let's like, talk come about on. that. <laughs> So what is that like? Because you know you want to flip from your, from good homes, and then and but you know I, but I will say this. I will preface this saying that your children's music isn't like children's, children's music. music. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I always say, who are we to tell what a child should be listening to? So what I like is your music smart. <clears throat> your oh, your Brady Rhymer mm -hmm. and the little man that could. So you you started that when you had your kids, correct? Yeah, it just came naturally, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and 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 exactly. I mean, I didn't even know there was a thing called children's music. Mm -hmm. To tell you the truth, yeah, I just was wanting to make music for this little guy and new life and his life and being a dad. And these are the songs that came out. And of course, they're a little bit more playful and <laughs> mm -hmm. and a little you know a little di more a little different. But I really kind of just um, saw the music as being the same as from good homes mm -hmm. and and i guess the bottom line there is it just feels good you know and um and, and then it was just writing about different things lyrically and um so so yeah so that's good i i'm glad that you know that that you see that and and that's definitely one of the 
missions of the little band because we were just full of uh, some great, great musicians in, mm-hmm. in that band. And uh, just really want uh, yeah. And your shows at the Growing great Sage music. Are, are so much fun. Yeah. And this, it's, such, it's a great yeah. space for you because you are so close to the audience. So you really get that connection. You can get up and yeah. dance. You can get up and <laughs> dance. I mean, I think I have pictures of my little one on stage with you dancing during <laughs> one of your shows. And this is how many years have you been doing the growing stage now? Well, uh, help me out, Danny. Uh, I think, I think it's like, I want to say like six or seven. I yeah. Know. yeah, It's yeah. like yeah. a nice little residency. And it, I and love it's, it. It's so funny because yeah. I, I always tell people, I said, it's really for everyone. It is. It's like, yeah. even if you don't have kids, you can come to the show. I, I, I seriously, I believe that. And it's, and it's funny because we've been playing, um, uh, Brady, we've been playing your holiday album yeah. during uh, the pre-show for our holiday show, mm-hmm. and I and I was in that show, so I'm backstage singing along, along, and all the other actors are like, "How do you know all this the words?" And I was <laughs> like, "I was like, well, I have the album." I said, "But I really, it's it's so catchy. It and is it's catchy, just so fun, and it's different." So, like, my question to you is, when you decided to do a holiday album, there's so many. There's so many holiday albums out there. How did you like? How did you approach it? Like, how did you want to make your sound different? Yeah. Well, I'm I, I'm fortunate because I, I, I seriously I'm not like the the best uh, singer and 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 interpreter of songs. So I I can't even sing any Christmas carols. Like I don't go around singing Christmas carols. Right. <laughs> so I so I had to write my own. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just over 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 the years, you know, like. Christmas, you know, two or three or four might pop out, and so so last year it seemed that um, wow, there's there's a collection that's been you know developing over the years, and then I just wanted it to, like I said, just be natural to what the little band sounds like. But then I looked back at some of the classic feel or they have the kids singing or they have um, some some bells and uh, a few other kind of touches that i thought musically would be fun to explore mm-hmm. yeah I, I love that you know, i would be um, there if i didn't have rehearsal i yeah. would totally be there <laughs> um, I have rehearsal now. and i love that though because i know um one of my favorites is new accordions right and and so yeah. and that right there is is showcasing something you're gonna see you're gonna see claudio playing that accordion right so right. I, Wait, I, I danny just... plays the accordion <laughs> huh danny plays the accordion don't t- <laughs> he, no, I'm not Danny kidding. Does? Yes, or his. Yes. I haven't played in some time. No, I haven't played in some time. Talk yeah, about my, it. my my family, my family is uh, they're big a accordion, family of accordion players. players. They're like famous <laughs> accordion players. Do you know? Do you know the song? Do you want to come up and sing no? It? no I'll, I'll come up and sing it, but I'm not going to play the accordion. <laughs> I'm I'm very very rusty, so I'll I'll just I'll let Claudia handle that she's she does a great job with that <laughs> but i was telling lauren i said i look forward to i last year i got to play the tambourine during yes. i think um uh can sit still which so is, i think he's telling you I that love. he's expecting so, to go, get on the stage with you that's his little plug and for I, himself and i have a great photo of me on stage with brady and claudia and, and larry <laughs> and it's my cover photo on facebook yeah. so just <laughs> well, 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 Brady, what can the audience expect at your show uh, at the Growing Stage 11 a.m. on Saturday, uh, December 20th? Yeah. Well, we're going to be opening up with Danny on accordion, no. so they can expect that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Danny's family on accordion. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, th- so uh, they will – first of all, it's going to be a lot a good energy everybody up and dancing and getting together and um and then some some original um holiday tunes revving up the reindeer new accordions uh song about getting your holiday jam going for the time of time of the year and um and then probably a couple classic um christmas songs done in a little band style rock rock and roll you know rocked up and then we might even get a visit from uh, big old Santa Claus. Oh, <laughs> yes. I, I keep hearing about that, Santa too. Santa yeah. Claus is my I guy. I think if the audience is all good, you know, not naughty, <laughs> if they're all nice and, and they dance and they hoop and they holler. and they, uh, <laughs> Then he'll, he'll, he'll show up. <laughs> and they get crazy. Then Santa Claus will. Brady, where can they um, find you on the internet? Where can uh, our listeners follow you, purchase your music? Yeah. Well, they can go to uh, BradyReimer.com, um, B-R-A-D-Y and R-Y-M-E-R. There's no H. Um, <laughs> and then they can um, 
under the videos, they can actually see one of the things we, we had a lot of fun with last year when we released the holiday album, we uh, made videos for about 10 of the songs, 10 of the 13 songs. So they can see the holiday videos there and, and, uh, and they can uh, get, get familiar with the music that way before. Saturday yeah, they're, 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 I love those videos. We've yeah. been sharing them on our Facebook. Uh, oh, thank you. They're just, they're just, they're very, very fun. And they have the lyrics too, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, that was the so, idea. Yeah, definitely uh, check them out. Mm-hmm. Um, so are you going to – I know you're working on a new uh, children's album as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's always working yeah, that'll on be, something. Yeah, that'll be another thing that we'll, um, we'll do on Saturday. We're going to premiere uh, one of the, the, the title track from the new album, which will come in the spring, and it's called Under the Big Umbrella. So uh, an uh, album, you know, about uh, acceptance and about how we're all able to be who – who, who we are under the big umbrella and uh, compassion and kindness and seems like a timely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. Timely message. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. So if you um, have nothing to do and, uh, you know, you need to <laughs> or you need a out. break, you need a you need break, break. <laughs> you got to dance it out, right. you need to dance it out. Um, you can go to the growing state. Where can they get tickets? They can go to growingstage.com. And, and right when they go on our website, they'll see Brady's face right there. <laughs> and you can get tickets 11 a.m. The ch- I mean, it's such a it's it's like a music box at theater. It, or I, I always call it like the I think I've asked Perry for one. The, um, the like paper, a, cut out, a paper cut out of it. It's yeah. so wonderful. So Brady Reimer, you can go to uh, one more time, Brady, with all your handles and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all just Brady Reimer, Brady Reimer dot com. And then uh, Brady Reimer and the mm-hmm. little band that could on Facebook and Brady Reimer on Instagram and all that stuff. You I know, mean, Twitter. definitely go support, go support. And it's it's really so much fun. I mean, you'll be up dancing. I mean, there's <laughs> people that I see at Brady's shows. They don't even have kids with them. So they just know you from <laughs> no, they just know you from it's, the scene and they want to yep. and they just love the music. It's, it's fantastic. True. Yeah, those are the ones screaming out, second red bar. Yes, exactly, exactly. And that From Good Home song. Which, and then you could see, although I don't know, I think you guys are sold out now. I was going to say you could see From Good Homes, but I'm pretty sure you're sold yes. out for the shows. But they're not sold out Friday. So okay. if you want to so, come see the, that show, then uh, do that. And then uh, and then we'll see you bright and early on yes, Saturday I was gonna morning. Saturday morning, we'll morning baby. You know? There you go. You could party <laughs> with Brady after. and You then can have a just... cocktail at the Newton Theater and a cup of coffee. <laughs> A cup and of a coffee and a, bo- and a box of popcorn. Popcorn the next day. No, Brady, I, like I said, I would really be there if I didn't have rehearsal because I really do enjoy yeah. well, the, uh, the experience. And I could tell that you love what you do. Uh, I do. I, I feel ha- you know blessed to, <laughs> to still be able to do it. And, mm-hmm. and um, love, love making music with people and, and singing these songs and singing them with the audience and um, watching these families just bop around. It's, 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 it's yeah. a kick in the pants. Of course. <laughs> we'll have a great show. Well, I'll see you Friday because I'm going Friday. Yeah, and I'll, see you, the- I'll oh, see you bright and early okay. Saturday. And then you'll see Danny Saturday. <laughs> but go check out right. BradyRimer.com, Brady Reimer on all the socials. You know, follow him on Twitter, Instagram, like his Facebook page, uh, support live music. And um, I'll see you Friday, but still have a happy holiday. Yeah, you guys too. I, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> doesn't seem like it because it's so warm. I know, and I know, snow, but I know but it's it's gonna kick in soon once we get to Newton and do those shows that always. Uh, all right, here we are. Yeah, here right. We are. Here we go. We're, <laughs> there we're this you go. Time. Thank you so much Thank for giving you, us Brady. your time today, Brady. See Thanks, you soon. Guys. All right, Thanks. take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. So if you're just tuning in, we were talking to Brady Reimer from Good Homes. Brady Reimer, a little band that could. He has a busy weekend here in yeah, New Jersey. I'm excited for him. I mean, and I, I honestly am a huge, huge fan. Oh, yeah. I have all of his... Uh, yeah, all his records. All of his records. He, he signed them all. Of course. <laughs> like He's so good like that. And then he meets with the kids afterwards. I can't afterwards. believe you said that I play the accordion. Are you mad at me? <laughs> no. No. You- no, because I told him I said I will not play. I know. Don't be mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like, rusty. No. I think you're amazing. I'm like, I'm good with the tambourine. I think you're an amazing man. You're like, are I want you mad at me? Oh my god, no, you're mad at me. I'm like, eh, oh my god. Um, I love how you're going to see him on Friday, and I'll see him on Saturday. I know, it's like almost like we're covering our, our like bases, our, and it's like two different vibes. That's what's so cool about it. I, that's what I love about Brady. Did you like? How I, I was like, like, are you going to like party after? He was like, ha, ha. Like, like, he'll be fine. He is a pro. He is, he a, is a rock pro. star. These rock, rock stars star. know how to work it. Um, 
So we I mean, were, that's pretty awesome for an artist to be able to just like take like w- like Friday night. You're going to perform with your old friends, your old friends from the, growing the, up where you started. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're providing music to like the next generation of, of I music agree. lovers. I mean, that's like that's pretty sweet. It is. I mean, like, you know what? And I always when I get like stressed out, um, I always say, but I get to do this. I get to prick my projects. Yeah. I get to work with the most amazing, talented people. This is the life you chose. Take a beat, level up. We are the lucky ones. So um, I know we have some time for our next interview. Yes. Do you want to hear a Brady, a little Brady a, Christmas song? I would love to, but I'm only afraid that YouTube won't let me post the interview. Here's uh, the problem I'm having with YouTube. Right. So oh, they, YouTube won't let you YouTube as well. YouTube will. What if you say we have permission? <laughs> You want to know something? Facebook, right? So yes. I've been, uh, we've been posting on the Growing Stage page uh, Brady Rhymer videos. And some of them, I, um, the ones in the beginning were upload. I uploaded them. Brady sent them to me. Right. And then there's others that um, I've been getting from his YouTube page. The ones that I uploaded, the first one, they, they flagged it. Mm-hmm. They were like, part of your video's muted because uh, uh. do you have the rights? And I said, yes, I have the rights. Yeah. I literally was like, reinstate. I know, and, and but YouTube will YouTube's a little bit more fussy, and I have a, like my friend Marcus Randolph. I have a great interview with him, and I I have to actually go through and get him re-edit. So what I have to do now is fade out the music, and then um, fade it back in. You know, with the talking. But I said to Kevin, I go, I don't understand how you can do all these musical Mondays and do all these musical things that you're doing, and it's you don't get flagged. It's because he's singing it. It's not. It's his voice. Really? Uh huh. But. Oh, maybe. Okay. You know, they're not right. they're not recognizing the voice. So we right. could sing. We could we sing. We could sing Lady okay. Gaga right now and they're not going to do anything Does about it. Does anyone want to hear that? You know? 